everything. Liberians is all the same language. All the same language and there's just a bunch of dialects. So let's talk about this now. The Jamaican Maroon Possession Language. <laughs> spirit Possession Language. Or they call it Maroon Spirit Language. Now this stuff is really interesting to me because... The Maroons of Jamaica speak a language they call Cromanti. There's also Maroon spirit language. And then it's all they sp- and it's the same thing with the Maroons on s- in Suranium. In Suriname, sorry. In other re- in other regions too, but majorly Jamaica and Suriname, they speak in this thing they call Cromanti. So I mean, this is very interesting, and so, you know, I look into it a lot more and find out what's going on, and I find out that there's so many similar words just in, like, information out there and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden, bam, check this out. This is a documentary of, from the Jamaica Language Project, Jamaica Language Project. And, yeah, check it out for yourself. You want to hear it? Here it is. And after followed by Suriname Maroons traveling to Ghana to check out this Cromancy region. And then after a brother from Cromancy going back to Suriname and meeting the Maroons and watching it. In this documentary, you get to see what happens. I'd like you to see. Enjoy. in Portland are descendants of runaway and slave Africans on the plantations of Jamaica. I, as a linguist, became interested in the community on reading a 1981 article by Kenneth Bilby entitled How the Older Heads Talk. The article suggested that in addition to regular Jamaican Creole, there were two other languages in use in the community. One language was Cromanti, clearly related to the Akan language cluster spoken in modern-day Ghana. This language was used by the Maroon to communicate with their African-born ancestor. The other language was Maroon spirit language, as Bilby called it, or the la- as the people called it, Old Time Patwa. That language they used to communicate with their Jamaican-born ancestor. My question was, was this for real? No linguist before or since has ever recorded an in Jamaica language like Maroon spirit language. It was so different from regular Jamaican Creole and so similar to the Creole languages of Suriname that one couldn't help but ask the question, did Bilby make this thing up? So, with the permission of the Maroon Council in Bordeaux, we headed into the John Crow Mountains of Portland to investigate this language. Mr. Isaac Bernard, one of the older heads still alive, opened a window through which we could hear and see how the older heads talk. The rain had fallen the night before and most of the day. It had stopped falling just around 4 p.m. when the colonel, along with some other maroon guides, took us on the one and a half hour trek to Comfort Castle, where Mr. Isaac Bernard lived. Grandi Coto Grandi, the maroon name for the Rio Grande River, and all its tributaries were in full speed. There was water everywhere, shooting out of every crevice in the hilly terrain. Maybe that was a good sign, since we had gone to research the language of Mr. Bernard's ancestors, Romanti. We had traveled with the rum necessary to keep the ancestors happy, and nature was giving us the other means of doing so, the water. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me 
Mr. Bernard and the culture he represents is not just skilled in communication, it also places a high value on silence. Yeah, you not everything. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That term was often translated to us as talk some, leave some, which means that some things are better left unspoken. Anyway, uh -huh. my life is your one. Mm -hmm. When you know I come up here, uh -huh. you know me see nobody. Where? Yaso? Yeah, no, I don't know. We see enough people. Uh, enough summer, plenty summer. Summer waka will be coming. Summer waka will be. I don't know. I don't know so now for summer waka will be coming. Mm-hmm. I mean, like them, but the one of them near me, Hmm. I don't want to let him go. Away. I want to tell you, I'm going to go. I'm going to sing a car and tell him to go. Let me sing. Breaking get a woman, you know, woman. I want to find him in a new one. I want to find him good enough. Some days another, you know, you can feel it. Some days another, that's how you know me. Some days another, you know me. But some days another, but you know me, you see. Can you mark, can you mark, can you mark? I want you to say, I want to say, but you didn't make you. Can you mark, can you mark, can you mark? Let me tell you, you mark, you mark, can you mark, you mark. Me tell you, can you man, you man, you man, can you man? Me tell you, you man, you man, can you man? So you think you go take a no? You sabi on ti? You sabi? When you do ya, you me take on kari. Roman broke up, broke up, na goli boy. You da do ya, me no take on kari. Remember, but I got no money. That they are, you know, second card. Remember, but I'm very good. That they are, you know, second card. You sabi? No sabi. 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 I mean, I bought some money, you know, but we don't want to get something. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes he talk to me, too. You talk to yourself? Yep. Any business that different from the family. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a bugle for the mirror. Mm -hmm. And whenever time, we have a message to send. We send it by this. By talking in our language. 
Okay, but you have to learn the language to know what I say. What language is that Kramanti? Hmm, that Kramanti language. Mm-hmm. Well, that Chimbambong, that young, that Doko say. Windandu. Windandu? Windandu, they go say. Windandu. Kramanti. When I'm on last, you know, over there. You blow this. You tell him, say, last. And when we go there, when somebody go there, you find him. You mm -hmm. went blue and tell him, say, they find him. You didn't find him. And you tell me, say, I see what we do. That means I see the man. If he's alive, I say, I see what we do. I see a man be. Then I see the man and he's alive. <laughs> if he's dead, I say, who are you? I see your mandy. I see your mandy. Pete, pete. That means I'm dead. Chamo, chamo, yet. So, I mean, when you and other speakers and the, the colonel here, you know, dies, how is the heritage going to carry on? Well, I want to tell you. It is not one section, you know. Mm -hmm. No. You have Hampong Tong. You have Skachal. You have Chas Tong. And you got more Tong. Mm -hmm. So it's not one place. So when one don't say it, the other say it. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you want to continue the heritage in more Tong? In more Tong? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we are going to do it. We are going to continue. When Mr. Bernard and the one or two other tradition bearers leave us, who will be there to speak the half that should be spoken? Will the Cromanti language and its traditions survive in the presence of all the trappings of modern life, such as the mobile telephone? The facts on the ground don't look too good, but now tell me what you think.
Ik ben benieuwd naar het dorpje Coromanti, waar veel van onze voorouders weggehaald zijn. Daarom moeten wij Steven Corsa, die haar geboren en getogen is, Coromanti. This is Comanche, and I'll now take you to see my family. The settlement actually started from the top of the hill. And later they all moved down here. Yeah, yeah. So the real family house is at the top of the hill. But this is where my grandmother settled. And that is my auntie. Yeah, yeah. She comes yeah, after my mother. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she is the only one left at home now. Ah. You know, of the mother level. Mm -hmm. The rest are all children, grandchildren, and the like. And that is the daughter of my auntie. And uh, as usual, they're all fishmongers.